Hi guys! So this is my first video that's not a vlog. Um, so this is going to be a Q&A slash unboxing of all of these PR packages that you guys can't see in front of me. It's filling up an entire table. And this is my husband, Mitchell. Hi. You guys saw a lot of him in the LA vlog. I'm here for support. Yeah, like we do everything together, literally. And he's gonna help me unbox. I kind of thought it'd be hilarious to have you unbox with me. And I'm always excited to open the packages. Yeah, like we'll get packages and he'll be like, babe, can I open it? Can I open it? And I'll be like, I have to save it for Snapchat unboxing. He's like, you really need to start unboxing on YouTube because you put so much effort into your videos on Snapchat and describing everything and not just quickly showing over, but talking about each product and then it's gone in 24 hours and I agree with you. So, um, some of these packages I already ripped open but like did not fully unbox and on top of that um, I'm gonna leave him in charge of kind of going through your guys' snaps and we're gonna answer questions periodically throughout opening but I'm gonna start with, this one actually isn't a box, but this is from The Balm and they sent over the new Girls Getaway Trio which seems pretty cool. It seems like it is a blush palette. They have the cutest packaging. They also sent what looks like an eyeshadow palette called In the Balm of Your Hand. And I'll open that in a second. But I really, I used one of their blushes today and it was extremely pigmented. So these are the three blushes. Okay, so here is the eyeshadow palette. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, so it's literally got... Look at this, you guys. It's got their highlighter, Mary Luminizer, that everyone loves. It's got Bahama Mama Bronzer. So, thank you so much to The Balm. And by the way, I'm cruelty-free. We're vegan. So, everything I use is always going to be cruelty-free. You want to Ask a question? scroll through the questions on Instagram real quick? Where did you learn makeup? I learned makeup... What would you say? We've been together so since hot. I was 16. We were 16. So, he knows a lot of my journey. <laughs> I worked at Sephora, I went to cos school, and I'm a beauty school dropout. And uh, I just figured out makeup was my passion, not hair, and I taught myself a lot of what I know, but working at Sephora definitely taught me a lot, but I would say YouTube videos taught me a lot too. I'm going to open this package from Sigma. It's like huge. Wildflower collection? This is their beautiful package. But yeah, I guess to sum up the last one, I'm pretty much self-taught. I'm always learning. I'm not an expert. I just love makeup and I love playing around with it and I love that you can transform with it and I find it to be really therapeutic. So. I didn't go to school for it or anything. This question went with the last one, kind of. It says, what age did you first start getting into makeup? <sighs> My mom would probably say I was playing with makeup when I was, like, really young. I was always a girl in high school that get made fun of for wearing hair extensions and lashes and too, foundation. Too much makeup. Too much makeup. I always got um, really picked on for being really into it. Before my time, I guess, I was doing like winged eyeliner in like ninth grade and uh, like really heavy makeup and a lot of people weren't fond of it. I would get called fake a lot. Um, just really bully. But I started from a really young age and I've just always had a passion for it. This is the wildflower package. It's gorgeous. So we've got two lipsticks in here. And then this is an eyeshadow palette, I'm assuming. This one's called Barely blooming. Oh, there we go. Okay, so beautiful packaging. It's got eye and cheeks. Oh my gosh, look how big the pans are. They're very, very buttery and pigmented. It definitely has a brow bone shade. This is the shade Barely Blooming. So this next shade is called Delilah? Dahlia? Dahlia. That's a really pretty fall shade. I think that's what this uh, collection is essentially supposed to be. I hate that like August is like, get ready for fall! We live in Michigan where it is like Antarctica half the year, so um, I don't get excited for fall. I know everyone on the west side of the country gets really excited because it cools down and it's like comfortable there, but it gets like below zero here. <laughs> so this next package is from Shadow Shields and this is my first ever package from them and I was really excited to see that apparently they're now sold at Walmart. I've seen people use these for 
ever on YouTube. And pretty much what you do is you place it right underneath your eye when you're applying eyeshadow or liner, whatever you want. I've never tried them before, but I'm very excited that they reached out to me. And um, I'm pretty sure they sent me two packages, so I might be doing a giveaway with some of these. Thank you so much, Shadow Shields. This next package is really sick. It's from Japanesque. Oh my gosh, it's heavy too. So this is their Kuma Door E color collection. There we go. When's the next giveaway? <laughs> Girl, they're coming left and right. So they have a blending collection. This literally looks like the NARS Eda brush, which is unreal because NARS is newly not cruelty free. This is their highlighter. And it looks like they only came out with one shade. Their packaging is always very sleek. And this is what the color looks like. Oh, feels very nice. Very creamy. They have a dual-ended brow pencil and I'm super excited about this. This is light medium. Oh yes, okay, so this is essentially an Anastasia brow definer. So this has the teardrop shape. Am I out of order? It's just a brush. It's really pretty though. Other end is interesting. It's literally an oval, so it's like a really big version of a brow whiz. I'll have to get back to you guys, but the color on this, oh yeah. What is this one called? The powder, and it's a bigger version of what you just had. These are really pretty. Japanesque always has that very like sleek, simple packaging. So these are the two liquid lips. I'm gonna swatch these liquid lipsticks really quickly. Okay. Oh, these smell like cake. They have that like very faint vanilla scent. Pretty pigmented. You like it? I'm gonna try to leave these on and not smear them to see how they dry down. What does your husband do for a living? Do you make a lot of money on being on Instagram? And do you want kids? So let's start okay. with the do you want kids and work our way backwards. Alright, let me just show them this powder first. So it comes with a poof. And it's actually like really well thought out. I'm not gonna peel the thing off the inside, but there's the sifter. And it does look very white. So I'm hoping this doesn't leave a cast, but it's got a nice mirror, very like nice packaging. So I always get back to you guys on Snapchat on how I like products once I actually test them out. So I'll leave across my across the screen my um, Snapchat username, which is Erica Marie Papa, so you guys can keep up to date on if I'm liking the products I'm unboxing right now. But go ahead and answer. So, so I own a landscape business with Erica. We own it together, and I mainly work with my father. Before I did this full time. I actually did sprinklers. It's gonna be hard to believe. <laughs> That's why you guys uh, will see a lot of the time we'll be at the greenhouse or the nursery with a lot of like the trees and the flowers. I love snapping all the flowers. What was the other one? Do you make a lot of money being on Instagram? All right, uh, it completely depends. Um, not gonna like give you any specific numbers, but it depends on how hard I'm working. Like I'm my own boss, so essentially as hard as I work, as many codes as I put out, like as many looks as I can create, like it, it all varies monthly. Um, I used to make nothing and I still would do this even if I did make nothing because it's my passion and I love it. <laughs> this is their felt tip liner. It's such crazy looking packaging. That is so sharp. And let me just see. The only thing that drives me a little crazy with black liners is sometimes they have like a sheen to them and I don't like a shiny liner. I typically like it to be matte, but it was very black and it didn't have any drag. I just undid the bow to this, but it is so pretty. So I just wanted to show you guys. Like I have no idea this is makeup related or not. That's actually really cute. Are you gonna wear it? He's gonna steal it from me. That's super nice. Thank you, Japanese. The last part of that question was, do you do you want kids? I'll leave it to you. Definitely don't want kids right now or very soon, but it's an option in the future. I agree with him. I'm mortified of childbirth, so give us like a decade and I'll get back to you. By yep. the way, um, these liquid lips dried very matte and they're not accentuating any fine lines or anything. They're really pretty. This amazing package from Morphe and Brittany Bear. And this is like her contouring essentials. 
and it's got everything from concealers to the 9C powder contour palette over here and some brushes. The 9C is my actual favorite. You already have that one? Yeah. So I could give this one away if it's the same thing. Giveaway alert. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this really pristine, but just to show you guys, this is what it looks like. It just has every like bronzing, contouring, color correcting, and highlighting shade you could need in a powder. Their powder formula is really, really nice. This is the holy grail of nose contouring kits. I actually will use this type of a brush to fill in my hairline. I think this brush is perfect for contour. I also use, literally, I have one just like this that I use for nose contour. These are gorgeous though, they're like rose gold and black. It just says M0. Definitely would be good for like reverse contouring the sides of the nose to like pinch it nose and bring it in. Beautiful collection. It also comes with her concealer, or Morphe's concealers. What is your favorite vegan restaurant in Michigan? I think I know the main answer. Okay. Green Space. Yeah. We also like Chive Kitchen. In Space is like really cool because my dad um, knows the owner, he's a really nice guy. He's actually a world renowned heart doctor and he opened his own vegan restaurant because he realized how much veganism actually helps people's health. And he's a vegan now and he's like a vegan activist. Like the ambiance, like you'd think you're it's in like LA. Fancy and, restaurant. Yeah, and the food is amazing. They have like vegan donuts, vegan everything, right? Bumpy cake. Oh, they have like um, this like cheese platter. And it's made out of like cashew cheese and stuff, but it tastes legit. Like real cheese cubes? Yeah. This is from a brand called Hint of Sunshine. And they're a jewelry company, and I'm actually wearing one of the pieces. They sent so much. They sent another cute little choker. And they have this one that I'm assuming is going to be like major bling bling. They know me well if they sent me anything with crosses on it. But these look like the necklaces that everyone has been wearing recently. They're extremely reflective. This is also from them. I'm just trying to open it up. It's so pretty. And then one more that seems like it's going to be bling. Oh my gosh, yeah. This one is silver. And I'll try to leave all the brands that sent me stuff and what they sent me in the bottom bar in case you're interested in trying anything out or picking anything up for yourself. So let me see this controversial question. It's not that bad. She said, girl, you look amazing. Like, amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I've watched your snaps about plastic surgery, and I also know you're a Christian. I was wondering what your thoughts um, were about how God views plastic surgery since we were all made according to his image. You know, I did a lot of praying about it, and <clears throat> I also became extremely depressed before I started doing Instagram. Um, about three years ago, I was like on medication and I, I didn't leave my house for I think over six months. I really, really, really thought about it, like deep down. So people can pierce their ears and it's not a big deal. People can change their hair color and that's a God-given thing and that's not a big deal. And people can paint their nails. People do all these things and there's like, oh, you can microblade your eyebrows, but you can't inject your lips even though lip injections are temporary. I just feel like I realized that like God's the only one who can judge me and that really set me free <laughs> and I thought I live once and why wouldn't God want me to be happy if I'm this unhappy and I've been this unhappy for so long and I prayed about it so hard and I like I'm still just I didn't feel like me so I did something that I felt like I needed to do. If no one else agrees with me in the entire world, that's fine. They don't have to wake up and live my life. <laughs> I still go to church. I'm still a Christian. You know, there are every kind of Christian you could think of, and we just have to come from a place of love and no judgment because the number one rule as Christians that we like to forget is that God is the only one who can judge us. So I've just learned to not look at anyone in a light of are they doing right or wrong in God's eyes because it's literally, it's not my job to judge them, you know? Like, yeah. if I just looked at like my life and the trajectory of if I did it and if I did it and if I was happy and if I wasn't and I knew that makeup was my passion and I knew that this was something that was gonna make me pursue my passion and I just decided to go for it. And with or without makeup in your life, it's something you've always wanted to do. It is, but I don't really, you know, care what anyone else has to say about it, it made me happy and I prayed about it and I had peace with it. 
and I had multiple reassuring times that Mitchell can vouch for afterward. It almost was like God telling me, like, don't feel guilt for this, like, it's okay. I was not expecting to get emotional, but I really did feel guilty about it. And I just, like, had what I felt like was a huge epiphany when I was um, invited to the Jaclyn Hill event, and it was, like, the same day that my surgery was supposed to be. And um, we moved it up so that I had something to look forward to because I was too scared to even go through with it. And I was second-guessing if God was okay with it and if I was okay with it. And it was like, he was saying, you can do this and here's your reward to look forward to. We did it. And I just feel so blessed to be living this life and to wake up every morning and, and look in the mirror and be happy. Amen. So this is from Eden Cosmetics. The they have some amazing liquid lipsticks? A lip gloss and a matte liquid lipstick. Dear Erica, thank you for your continued support. Enjoy our newest items launching August 7th. Matte liquid lipstick in Crush and our first gloss in Flirt. In honor of Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. In September, 50% of sales from this launch through September will be donated to World Child Cancer USA, an organization that helps children battling cancer in developing countries. Support um, the cause. Yeah, let's look at the colors. Wow. This is the matte liquid lipstick. Yeah, so this is like one of those like Ooh, yeah. blaring orange reds. I want to drink an orange crush now. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is their uh, lip gloss in Flirt. It's a very beautiful pink. It'll just give you a little tint and it smells so yummy. And then this is Crush. Yeah, That's Eden nice. Cosmetics again. I'll leave the link in the down bar. This is the same exact package from Shadow Shield. So I don't know if this was an accident, but I'm going to be giving away some Shadow Shields as well. Um, Physician's Formula, I think, I would assume. It's all over the box. It's a vibe. They're coming out with a Velvety Foundation a multi-finish eyeshadow quad, hypoallergenic lipstick, and a powder palette. Really pretty. I'm not really normally a fan of quads, I don't reach for them, I like palettes, but I do have to say that these uh, shimmers look really pretty, I want to swatch some. So this is the shimmer matte. These are really, really pigmented. Classic Nudes Oof. eyeshadow quad. Oof. Smoky Plums is the one my husband's playing with. Please excuse his swatches. They're like, oh, I would have thrown it away. There's an entire, another layer. Mineral Glow Pearls. So this is what it looks like, and I don't know if you guys can tell via the camera. Probably not picking it up, but in real life, it's got a lot of, sh like, shimmer, like, glitter. Is that thing with the fallout? No, it just has it underneath. Oh, With a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> so these are their hypoallergenic lipsticks. This is the package. Oh, yeah, sharp. Look at that. These actually remind me of, is it the Dose of Colors that just came out that are very different shaped and everyone was kind of like not knowing how to feel about it? Let's see how pigmented these are. Pigmented, but very glossy. This is Red Rouge, Nude, Berry, Coral. I've been really into comfortable lips recently because I no longer enjoy the feeling of a matte lip. It's not worth it to me. Have you ever been to Coney Island? Because this person's been there before. Like the restaurant? I believe. Just yeah. like the chain. Yeah. We don't go anymore though because they like don't have anything there. Actually, she might be in the one that's like downtown Detroit, which in that case, no. I don't think we've ever been. But it's Yeah, I don't know how to answer that question, but like I've been to a Coney Island before. I didn't know they don't they have, have them everywhere. They have them everywhere here, so. And yeah. Like the biggest chain of them, I would like to say, is like Leo's Coney Island. We don't really go to the Coney Island anymore because there's not very much vegan food. Physicians We're Formula La Velvet Foundation. I will say, they sent dark shades. Does that look like my skin tone? You might look orange. And that's this like one, the lightest one. This one looks kind of more neutral. No? Mmm. Maybe I could use it to cream contour, essentially. I'm just gonna feel it. Oh my gosh, yes, this is a cream. Very, very slippery, very creamy. It's got um, a pretty natural slash dewy finish. I'm not a fan of a lot of cream foundations because they slide around and they feel heavy on the skin. Not to mention this is like really gonna look orange and if it oxidizes I'm just gonna look Oompa Loompa so maybe I'll try to use one of these to contour. I feel like we could just change the question and use it anyways. All of the YouTubers. 
Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So she said off the record what was it like meeting a specific YouTuber and a lot of the same YouTubers that I met um, back last year at the Becca event for Jaclyn Hill's face pat launch, I met again in LA for her Morphe launch. Most of them are like extremely nice and I'll vouch for that. There were only a few people that were like... Standoffish. Yeah. I, f I, I completely get it. Like, I'm not gonna, like, go on here and, like, create any drama. They probably have people looking to start crap with them, and they're just, like, really on guard. Like, they don't know me. They don't know who I am. I'm at this event with a lot of people where they pretty much know everyone except for me. I just got to meet so many people this time around that I didn't um, the first time because it was in New York, and obviously this most recent was in L.A., but for the most part, um, either they had their poker face on, and they seemed exactly like how they seem in uh, Snapchat and YouTube and real in real life or they really are that genuine and cool. I got into a few deep conversations. They were so real and yeah. down to earth and encouraging. Patrick was so nice. He was like, let me see your camera. Yeah, and he said Patrick recording. Star has got the, got the settings. Now everyone asks me what my camera settings are and I'm like, I don't know, Patrick Pat Star did it. <laughs> this is from Grande Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, I think I know what this is. They reached out to me and they have oh amazing lash serums and brow serums. They have a lot of stuff, but I've heard a lot about their serums and how amazing they actually work. Okay, so they have three different products. This is the Grande Lash. Oh wow, it's got really good ingredients in it. Like the first thing I see is hyaluronic acid. It says don't get into your eyes, which is kind of an oxymoron. But you don't see results with this. Um, for four to six weeks. So I'm definitely gonna have to test these out and get back to you guys. If you would like me to do a specific review about all of their products, definitely let me know. They have a grande brow, a grande lash, and they also have a grande mascara, which I'm assuming is a mascara that also has lash benefits in it. Um, I know these products can be really expensive, so I will review them. So we have one more package, and it's definitely the biggest package, I would say. It says Wet n Wild Fall Mermaid Collection. It says, Hey Erica, ready to make waves for high impact multicolor perfection? Look no further than this mesmerizing mermaid collection. Everything in this collection, except for one of the liquid lips, which is metallic, is vegan. That's pretty dang amazing. Pretty dope box. We got the holographic packaging. They seem to stick to the same color palette, whether it was for the liners, the metallic eyeshadows, or the liquid lipsticks. The only thing that really stands out to me so is the highlighter. mermaid highlighter. So these are their metallic eye like shadows. I don't always reach for like really, really dark shades like this for an all over lid. You're gonna have to use a base underneath. A lot of times when you want to intensify a smoky eye, you have to use a black base. Otic Prism and Lara's Necklace without a base. They're kind of streaky and you're definitely going to need to put something underneath them. I do see instantly it's drying down, it's not moving when I touch it. It's kind of like a burgundy, there's like a black shimmer, um, more of a blue and more of a green. Once again, the whole collection is very interesting colors. So there's a green with a little bit of blue in it. It's called Sea Symmetry. And then there's Sea Dreams, which is a navy, and Trident's Shimmer, which is a gray. I don't know, they're very streaky. You definitely have to build them up. This is the Mermaid Highlighter. Should I swatch it? I don't know if I trust you. some pretty crazy colors. This bronzy antique orange rusty shade is actually very pretty and this one is vegan so maybe I'll swatch this one. See this would be my favorite shade but it's not vegan. You guys. At least it's cruelty free. I'm like yeah but like I want them to come through. They've been killing every collection recently and this is just I mean they could apply differently than they swatch. I'm not a fan either. This one's coral crown. And this one is called Harbor A Crush. They don't look nearly as metallic as they do in the actual packaging. How did you and your hubby meet? You wanna end it on that? Um, I guess. We met from mutual friends before I went to the same school as her. Yeah, we met on the lake that he lives on. 
Mitchell and I were always like the best friends and everyone was like, they're doing stuff and we're like, <laughs> no, we're not. We're just friends. Like, he had a girlfriend and like everyone thought that we were like... Including the girlfriend? Yeah, even his I girlfriend like this thought... Is, like, no. <laughs> this is too much. All of a sudden, like 1 4th of July, we were only friends and never thought of each other as anything more than friends to like all of a sudden... Wait. I kind of like you. Like, he said something to me, and like, I wasn't gonna say anything because I don't want to ruin a friendship over it. I was nervous. He was super nervous on how I was gonna respond, and it was so weird how we both felt the same way. A lot of my friends wanted to date Erica. I'm just gonna lay off of that. Like, I don't want to be like another person bothering A lot her. of your friends were also. <laughs> yeah, and he was the only one who actually cared about me, didn't get sick of me. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. We got along as best friends, and I think that's why we're married and so happy. And to this day, people are like, why did you get married so young again? Like, they don't, like, get it. We met freshman summer, right, and... Right before sophomore sophomore year started, and that's when By I sophomore summer, we were dating. So we were friends for a whole year first, and had no intentions of dating. And we ended up coming together, and the rest was history. I feel like it was yesterday, but I also feel like it was a decade ago. Because it was like seven years ago, half at the end of this month. More than half a decade. That's yeah. insane. So, that's how we met. It wasn't like some magical moment. See, but he did ask me out in a tree for it. That was pretty gnarly. Yeah. A faraway place. Yeah. <laughs> the bee's nest in the corner and I was like, get me the f*** out of here. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was, it was cute. You're cute. Thank you. We hope you guys enjoyed this PR unboxing question and answer, get to know me, get to know my husband. I appreciate him so much. Please bear with me, you guys. Everything down to the editing, the filming, the lighting. Kind of feels beginnerish, but blessed to be where you are. And I'm beyond grateful. This is crazy to me. Like, if people have been around for a minute, they see me on Snapchat crying when I open some of these packages because I can't believe it's my life. Yeah. I know you guys really want to see uh, some tutorials, and that's the hardest thing for me to film, so bear with me. It's coming. Leave some requests below. I've had a billion different requests for different looks, so I'm trying to gauge what you guys want to see. Like, you know what? Let's throw in a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway. <laughs> so... It'll be a surprise. Check the down bar. I'm going to be doing multiple giveaways. Um, like and subscribe to be entered. I'm going to pick at random. And we will see you guys next time. Or at least I will. Anything to say? Thanks for watching. Bye. No, okay. you should also say comment. Comment what color a tennis ball is to enter. <laughs> <laughs> like when we got married, like the first thing our parents asked was like, Are you pregnant? And we're like, no. <laughs> send, Bottom one right here. Send nudes. Send nudes. nudes. <laughs> Nude slash chair. That's Is that like, like a different French. language? Yeah, it's like French or chair. something. Chair. People probably know like Maybe. that dumb blonde. Yeah. <laughs> My mama always told me not to let girls put makeup on me. Maybe one time we'll do it for you too. Oh my. If we get like a hundred thumbs up on this video. A <laughs> hundred? That's a is that a lot? I don't know. I'm new to YouTube. I, I feel like it needs to be a little bit more challenging. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? I don't know. Like, maybe a few videos down you say something like that. Oh my god! <laughs> Come on! Lots of good stuff. What about this? This. Oh my god! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm a karate kid. Yeah. Oh my god, babe! That's the shittiest one I've ever seen in my life! <laughs> Which one? Both of them! It's always like a game, isn't it? Like, how many boxes are inside of this box? Scary. What? Satisfaction on stabbing things. Shut up! I would Purpley say it almost glitter. has a green tinge, but that's just my boy. It's like mermaid type. <laughs> yeah, we always fight about the color of a tennis ball. He thinks it's green, it's clearly yellow. Comment below what color a tennis ball is. <laughs> <laughs> I agree that it's like green yellow. <laughs> so you want to tell him what I just did? No, I want you to tell him what you just did. I just dropped the fancy camera. He dropped my new camera. Play around. But it's good. It's all good. If I get this on my clothes, it's never coming out. We're talking about his crackhead name. <laughs> <laughs> we hate the confetti. Don't send confetti. <laughs>